scholars, it was so much fun seeing your silly acting out of your favorite animals. Let's dive back in now to our book today, Wild About Books. And we're gonna focus on this part of our question. We're gonna make observations about Wild About Books. Here's the question we wanna answer by the end of the lesson. What do I notice and wonder about Wild About Books? We're gonna start just with that first part and we're gonna notice. To notice means to see something while we're reading. For example, if I look at this picture on the screen, I notice a bear holding up a book and he's smiling. That makes me think that he really likes books. Noticing while we're reading helps us understand what we read. Let's do this together now. I'm gonna play a short part of the book and I want everyone to think about what they notice. We'll stop and share after we're done listening. It started the summer of 2002 when the Springfield librarian Molly McGrew by mistake drove her bookmobile into the zoo. Molly opened the door, she let down the stair, turned on the computer and sat in her chair. At first all the animals watched from a distance, but Molly could conquer the strongest resistance. Here's the page we just listened to, boys and girls. I wanna share what I noticed here using this sentence frame. A sentence frame can help you share your thinking. For example, I'm gonna start my, my notice like this. I notice and then fill in the blank with what I see. I notice the animals peering out of the zoo and looking at the librarian's bookmobile. What's something that you notice on this page? Give me a thumbs up when you're ready to share. Great noticing scholars. Let's try this one more time. We're gonna listen to the next part of the book and I want you to be thinking about what do you notice? By reading aloud from the good Dr. Seuss, she quickly attracted a mink and a moose, a wombat, an oryx, a lemur, a lynx, eight elephant calves, and a family of skinks. In a flash, every beast in the zoo was stampeding to learn all about this new something called reading. Okay, scholars. Using this sentence frame here, let's think about that last page we read. Give me a thumbs up when you're ready to share something you noticed. You can start your sentence, I notice, and then tell us what you see. Great job, friends. This chart that you see here is called a notice and wonder chart. We're gonna be using this a lot as we read together this year. You'll see on the notice side over here, I wrote my notice. I see the animals looking at the bookmobile. I could add here as well some of the noticings that you had. We're gonna be using this chart all throughout the year this year as we read books together to record what we notice and what we wonder. All right, scholars, we've tackled this first part of our question for today. We did a great job noticing as we read Wild About Books. Now we're gonna move on to wonder. To wonder about something means we ask questions about it. When we wonder or ask and answer questions as we read, that helps us stay curious about what we read and it also helps us understand what we read. We're gonna listen now to one more part of the book and as we listen, I'm going to wonder. I'll share my wondering with you after we listen. Forsaking their niches, their nest, and their nooks, they went wild, simply wild about wonderful books, choosing thin books and fat books and cat in the hat books and new books and true books and heaps of how-to books. Scholars, there was something that I wondered about on that page. I wonder, what is a how-to book? Hmm. Let's keep reading and I want you to wonder as you read. 
I'm going to stop and ask you what you wonder after this part of the book. Giraffes wanted tall books. And crickets craved small books. While geckos could only read stick to the wall books. The pandas demanded more books in Chinese. Mally filled their requests, always eager to please. She even found waterproof books for the otter who never went swimming without Harry Potter. Okay, friends, give me a thumbs up when you're ready to share, and I'm going to record your wonderings in our chart here. What is something that you wondered in that part of the story? We did it, friends. We just did a great job noticing and wondering as we read Wild About Books. Today, here's what we did. We learned about three different kinds of questions that we ask as readers. Our big questions that take a long time to answer, our medium questions that take a few days to answer, and our small questions that we answer in one lesson. And this was our question we worked on today. We made observations, we noticed, and we asked questions we wondered about wild about books. Today, boys and girls, when you tell someone special at home what you learned, I want you to share what you learned about wild about books. Let's think of your answer now. Touch your brain when you know what you're going to share about wild about books. Let's hear from two scholars. What are you going to share with someone at home about what you learned today? Great job, friends. I can't wait to hear what you shared with someone at home when we start our lesson tomorrow. Bye for now.